And you want to talk about one of your other fighters, Amir Khan, fighting uh, Terence Crawford. Now, I watched the interview you did with Coogan the other day, not yesterday, the day before, and you spoke about you talking to Crawford for Kell Brook. But you've got a fighter that's fighting Kell Brook already. Is it, is, is it not like, is it a bit of favourite? No, no, because that's just your job as a promoter. So you can't, you can't have 60 fighters and not do a job for one of them because someone else is fighting them. That, that's a conversation that Top Rank have brought up to fight and, and they're trying to get into Kel and try and line him up cool because they don't have any welterweights I'm more interested in Amir Khan winning that fight and trying to make the Kel Brook fight or him doing very well in that fight and trying to fight the Kel Brook fight so um, you know it's it's top rank who are talking on the Kel Crawford fight which shows how they feel about Crawford Khan of course, for Kel, I think Kel's in a position now in his life where he just wants the biggest fights. He was, you know, we were looking at him fighting on the June 1st card. He can't get himself up for it because it's not Amir Khan, it's not Terence Crawford, it's not Jarrett Hurd. So we're better off just putting him in the big fights. That's what he wants and that's what we'll do. We'll see what happens this weekend. With Top Rank and ESPN, have they got that? They've shown they've got the money and you guys have come out as the zone and the whole match room USA that you guys have got the money. But are they showing it? Are they proving... At this present time, at the state that you're in the US, at the state that they've been at in the US, that they can pull off the bigger fights more than you guys at this present time? Yeah, I mean, what big fights have ESPN pulled off in the last 12 months? They've got, fight, they've got fighters like Lomachenko, Crawford, but they're fighters, yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, but on the zone, we've done, we're doing Jacobs Canelo next week. That's the biggest fight that there's been in the last 12 months, second to none. What ESPN have got is they've got the American recognition of top rank, which is like the UK recognition of Matrim. You know I mean, and they've got ESPN, which is a very powerful platform. And DAZN don't have that platform at the moment. The numbers are rising. We're doing great, but DAZN aren't in ESPN yet. So we're up against it in that respect. But you know, when you look at the fighters on the platforms, okay, Lomachenko. Crawford, Fury, who else? Uh, Ramirez, Lopez, and then you look at our, our platform, Canelo, Golovkin, Joshua, Usyk, Jacobs, Andrade. I mean, in my opinion, we're like for like. We can counter them on any fight. They say, we've got X. I believe we've got a bigger one on our platform. Do you know what I mean? So, but it's a friendly rivalry at the moment. You know what I mean? It's great for boxing. Um, but, you know, at the moment, they're in a good position. They're ESPN. We're the zone. We're the young, hungry fuckers that are coming up your backside at a rate of knots. And if you want to be with that movement, which a lot of young fighters do, then you're going to be very, very lucky. Final question. Uh, you just mentioned Lomachenko there. Lomachenko has come out and said he wants to fight Luke Campbell in the UK. Have you guys had that discussion yet? A little bit. I mean, look, Luke Campbell's mandatory for the WBC. So our mindset is let's win that world title. The WBC are going to call that against Mikey Garcia. Um, he will probably vacate. And then hopefully Luke can win a world title and then he can fight Lomachenko. That's the aim. And uh, we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. Cool, Eddie. Eddie, you've got a massive, I've got a massive cube behind me. Thank you very much for talking to Fire.com. Appreciate that.